I'm a carbonate sedimentologist and a carbonate sedimentologist or as carbonate sedimentologist I work a lot which I do call living rocks. Uh, what are living rocks? So the name implies this already. Living rocks are, for example, rocks built by coral reefs, but also rocks built by microbes, microbial carbonates. Uh, and all these organisms do play a quite important role in the buildup of limestones, of carbonate rocks, and the interaction. It's a whole ecosystem which is hidden in these kind of carbonate rocks, and this is the basic speciality uh, of us at the University of Fribourg where we look at these living rocks as a whole so from a geochemical perspective so how these kind of rocks build up their structures how they precipitate carbonate how they dissolve also carbonate phases but also from a petrophysical perspective so how you change porosity and permeability in these kind of rocks so uh, this is the basic research axis of the research or carbonate sedimentology research group at the University of Fribourg. Well, nano CT tomography or nano CT scanner is really crucial for us because we can also visualize at really small scales. When you work with coral reefs, when you work with microbial carbonates, you want to have the small scale, the nano till micro scale, but you will also or you would also like to have the micro scale and the whole volume visualized. So you're not happy with just a really small sample. For the nano scale, of course we do it. We want to see what's in, the, in this microbial carbonates. We want to see this tiny precipitation phases because the story is in there for us. But we also want to be representative. So we want also to be able to put a bigger sample in the scanner. And this is the big advantage of such a multi-scaled nano CT scanner that you just can put different sizes, different sample sizes into the scanner and scan at different, different resolutions, scan at micro and nano scale. We use different kinds of size, size scan software throughout the whole process and uh, one of the crucial phases is the reconstruction of your data set where you would like to see quite fast the result of your scanning you know? and to see quite fast which faces you do have in your rock unit, you know? in your facious unit. Um, uh, and that's uh, with, uh, there is a kind of software, it's InstaRecon, which is really producing in a really fast way already a reconstructed data set. And because this fast, fast reconstru reconstruction is quite important for us, uh, we really work a lot with this uh, InstaRecon. And it gives us, as I said already, in a really fast way, uh, an idea of what we scanned. And this is quite important because then we will decide based on this first image what we're going to do next, how we're going to scan in the next phase, what will be the strategy for the next scan or even for the next experiment in the lab.